In this movie, we're going to talk about the difference between bitmap images and vector images. Now, there are two basic types of images that you work with when using software to create artwork, and those are bitmap images and vector images. And understanding the difference between the two file types will help you understand the value of working in Illustrator. Now, Adobe Photoshop uses bitmap images, and here you can see a bitmap image here. And a bitmap image is also referred to as a raster image, and it's described using a grid of square pixels. And the amount of detail in a bitmap image is determined by its physical dimensions measured in pixels. Now, you'll see that this image here, I've scanned in this screen print that I did when I was at school, <laughs> and it's at 100% magnification in Photoshop. Now, if I zoom in, you'll start to see the pixels that make up the image. And if we go far enough to about seven or 800%, you can quite clearly see those individual pixels that make up the image. Now, the problem with bitmap images, they look great and they're great for creating smooth transitions of color because each pixel is described in terms of its color. The downside is if I then go and try and size it up, because the resolution is fixed, I have to resample it if I want to scale it up. So if we decide to scale that up by maybe 500%, we tend to get a really bad softening on the image and we lose a lot of quality. So this happens because bitmaps are resolution dependent, which means that the amount of pixels with which you describe your image remains constant. In other words, the image will always be made up from the same number of building blocks, no matter what size you blow it up to. And the software has to do a kind of approximate resizing using various different algorithms when it resamples the image. There are some ways of improving the scaling, but essentially you're going to get this softening. So when you try and stretch the image or magnifying it, you lose detail and you see pixelation. Now the plus side of using vector images is they're more flexible. So if you want flexibility in terms of resolution, you can use vector images. If we jump to Illustrator, you'll see I have the image and I've used image trace to trace the image into vectors. And if we put that at 100%, you can see it's not quite the same in terms of quality, but you'll see we still get a really nice image. So the nice thing about vector images is they can be resized up or down at a whim. They're described using geometric shapes and curves called vectors. And you can see those if I select them with these points on them. And these contain color, gradients, patterns, and transparency. These geometric shapes are described mathematically and are quite precise. And that's one reason why they're the choice for technical illustrators and graph makers and typographers. The colors in a vector image are not described on a pixel by pixel basis. They're described by these areas of color. So I can actually zoom in as much as I want and the pixels are still being described as an area. So we're not getting each single block being defined, so we're not getting the blockiness. So you'll notice I'm up to 1,200%. In fact, let's go up to 6,400%. And you'll see that I still have these amazing sharp edges. So that's one of the pluses to working in vectors. Also, they're just a bit more flexible in terms of editing. You'll see if I just want to go in and make a change to one of these curves, I can just go in and select a point and move it and just change the shape, for example, of the hair. Okay, so it's very easy for me to go in and change the shape of the areas that describe the pixels. Whereas Photoshop, you'd be using paint. It's a very different technique. So, and also vector images use Bezier curves and they're used in most drawing and image manipulation applications to create vector images and to control shapes and effects. And as I said, they're very, very precise and a really nice way of working. So that's a little description of the difference between bitmaps and vectors and why you would choose to work in an application like Illustrator to create your illustrations and keep your artwork as editable as possible.